Hi, hey, hello. If you're new here, my name is Rain. If you're not new here, welcome back. Today we're doing another sketch with me, chat with me type of video. If you're interested in sketching alongside me or illustrating anything at all, I would really appreciate it if you tag me on the socials. Otherwise, I hope you just enjoy sitting with me for a little bit, chilling on my little corner of the internet for some time, and just relaxing for a moment. As for what I'm doing today, what I'm illustrating, I designed a little witch character, I think for the second video on my channel actually, and it was kind of a spur of the moment character design, I just wanted to illustrate a cute little witch, and I ended up really liking her, and so what I wanted to do with this sketchbook page was explore her character a little bit more, try and refine some colors, see how I wanted to do her hair, maybe sort out some more characteristics, and just spend a little bit more time with her. When I do a highlighter sketch with ink, I usually, I usually am just kind of working something out really quickly. I'm not actually taking a lot of time with it. Just going with the flow. I actually really wanted to think about this one. I sketched it out in Cole Erase Color Pencil first, uh, red, and I spent a bit of time really working out her features and making sure she looked how I wanted her to before actually going in with Ohuhu markers, which I also don't use in my sketchbook very often. The paper isn't perfect for it in, in an ELO. It's pretty good, but not great. And I generally just don't feel the inspiration to work in markers. I find that it just feels a little bit more committal to my sketchbook than I usually am. Uh, I usually work with markers outside of my sketchbook. So yeah, me using markers in my sketchbook is pretty going all in for me. It's not something I do particularly often, and that's mostly because I really am uncertain about if I want this to be a permanent character, and I really want to see how I feel working on an illustration of her, like, in full, really, like, taking my time with her. All of my other OCs, I was confident I wanted to keep them from the beginning, and so I'm trying to figure out a new process for, like, vetting an OC, and I think I do want to keep her after this. I just really think I have to work on her character design a lot more. I originally, when working on her in my highlighter sketch with ink, I did her base in pink highlighter and I decided I wanted to keep that consistent in her overall character design. I decided I wanted her to be pretty, pretty warm toned and pretty bubbly. And so I went with pink hair. I think that the Posca, oop, I think that the Ohuhu markers that I chose for her hair overall worked really good. I don't have a whole lot of Ohuhus in pink that allow me to create necessarily the type of depth that I wanted, so I was really surprised that it worked out and I ended up so happy with her hair and the overall kind of feeling that I got from it.
A quick intermission from our from our little music break our little music time uh, to discuss skin I have the hardest time rendering skin with ohuhu markers and so I realized pretty quickly going in with the skin tone that I was not super happy with it uh, tonally compared to the hair I wish it was either a little bit darker or a little bit lighter so that when I build it up it would be contrasting more ideally to how I wanted it to especially in the hand and this is a part of the illustration where I realized I was like really about to get super deep in the ugly phase and that was a huge issue with this illustration for me overall I feel like I was in the ugly phase for so long and I was so unhappy with her for the majority of the middle part which is weird to say after I like preface that I like fell in love with her, fell in love with her as a character, that I'm looking forward to doing a load more illustrations with her. But when it comes to Ohuhu markers, uh, at least the ones that I have, I always tend to find that I just don't quite have the tones that I want when it comes to skin or other colored markers to do shading that I'm super happy with or that appeals to me. I never feel like I have a soft enough but dark enough blue or purple to do the types of shadings that I really want to do or to create that kind of tonal value that I'm looking to create. So I very much was coming into this now being getting into the skin kind of concerned that I wasn't actually going to like it overall and then even better I uh, realized with the hoo-hoo markers that I don't really have a lot of different colors that I wanted to use for her clothes. And tonally, I didn't want to go with blue. I didn't feel like that would look good with pink. I really wasn't interested in doing that for like her pink hair. And so, super stressfully, I did it orange. And now we're tonally a huge mess. So I ended up super deep in the ugly face, super unhappy with this piece for a really long time. Um, I do pull through. I do encourage artists in general to, when you're in the ugly phase, to pull through, to keep going. If you feel like there's even a little bit of hope, keep going because, damn, the, the, the evolution that this illustration has is kind of wild. After being in the ugly phase for so long, and now being out on the other side as voiceover future rain really recommend it i also really like seeing other artists like ugly phase and seeing what other artists consider to be like the roughest part of their illustration to get through so if you have any like really wild ugly phase to finish pieces do let me know in the comments or tag me on the socials i i really want to see how other people pull through their ugly phases and then one more thing before we slip back into another music break if you have any character name suggestions, put them in the comments because I actually, because I wasn't certain if I wanted to keep her, I actually don't have a name for her yet. So community, community, let's pull through. Let's uh, try and think of a name or something for her.
I've been on YouTube long enough and made enough YouTube videos for it to be obvious yet, but my like go-to solution when a piece enters an ugly phase and I start panicking is paint pens and ColourPop, which actually taught me a really cool lesson. I really early in my sketchbook, this sketchbook in particular, tried to illustrate uh, a character in Posca on this paper without having anything under it, just on the paper, and it was not absorbing correctly. It was sitting on the paper. It was super, super ugly. I couldn't get it to lay out even remotely evenly, and so having the Ohuhu right under it actually really helped keep the paint looking nice, not looking like it was absorbing into the paper funny. It, it was kind of like putting watercolor paper on, or watercolor on the completely wrong type of paper. It just wasn't sitting correctly and it looked really gross. So I now know how I can use Posca's in my sketchbook without having a different paper or a different color paper. I do still prefer the way that color pop art and more vibrant art like this looks on toned paper, toned brown, more than white paper. I do feel like it washes it out. I am kind of considering, even now and completely after this video, perhaps going and actually making the entire background black. I'm not sure. You can also let me know in the comments when you get to the end of this video and you see what she ends up looking like because she goes through a phase, a huge phase that you'll see later. But I really was going in with paint pens in hopes of really trying to tie together this illustration and make it look how I wanted it to, getting it to that point where I really felt satisfied with it. And so what I usually do in these situations is take a bunch of different colored paint pens. I'm talking the whole rainbow, several spectrum, the whole spectrum, just pink, red, blues, oranges, greens, all of that, and putting in just little hatches here and there, adding little blips of colors where I feel is right. I don't really have any rhyme or reason to it. I just, it, it really is kind of instinctual for me. I, I really don't know how to explain it. I really just go wild and wacky with the colors. Here I'm going in call erase, uh, trying to add a bit more flesh to the skin, trying to make her look a little bit more lively and helping her stand out from the piece purple is one of my go-to shading colors. I just really like the way it looks. I know some people find controversy in always shading with purple and that, but I, I love it. I really do feel like it just is one of my favorites. So we're just going to say that she has a, a direct yellow light source. She's out in the sun for this illustration. I, cause I wanted my purple, my purples. It really is kind of my, my all-time preference. So that's our light source, kind of. It was also this part of the process where I started to realize that maybe I'm just really not cut out to be a lineless artist. I was starting to think, you know, maybe I just completely require line art for my work to look good, to look how I want it to look. And I was kind of just thinking that there wasn't enough darkness distinguishing, especially between different parts of her body, like her chest to her arm, to her armpit, to her hair which is totally a skill issue on my part. So definitely can't blame that on anyone other than myself, but I was starting to get really distressed about it, so.
different pictures side by side of the final illustration, final in quotes, because I realized that her tonal value was super messed up. She had absolutely no depth to her whatsoever. You can definitely see that in the first version, which is what you've been watching me make so far. Uh, it's super low quality. I deleted all of the clips from my phone and I don't know how to export individual clips once they're in my editing program, so it's a screenshot. It's super low res, but you've been watching this entire video, so you know what she looks like, I hope. And I just put her in black and white so I could see and show you guys her complete tonal value. This is something I tend to do with my illustrations. I just kind of blanked on it because I wasn't happy with her, so I was like, oh, she's not a final illustration, she's a sketchbook thing. But I was just really bothered by her when working on other stuff. And so I, I looked at her, sorry if you can hear the plane, and I was like, wow, she's messed up. So I went in and I added a lot more blue, it's complementary to orange, I was hoping that it would make her just, I was hoping it would complement the work and not be too clashing with the original style, because blue really wasn't fitting in with everything I had previously. And as you can see, she looks so much better now. The depth really, really helped, at least on a tonal front, and I'm actually way happier with how she looks. The obscuring of some quality and detail through deeper shadows really helped to make her look like a finished piece. So you'll be seeing that in the next clip. Yeah, hi. So Future Rain, who hasn't done voiceover, so like Future Rain 1.0 with cats. Yeah. I uh, was working on this page to my sketchbook and I just was not happy with how it was and so over time I realized it was because the tonal values, which I probably will mention in the previous clip where I show comparisons, I realized the tonal values were really off. She was very, she was all the same, there was no darkness to it no depth really and so over time I went through with a like Crayola super tip deep blue pen and sorry about the clacking smudges really into it I deep blue pen and I really added depth and there is like a loss of definition in these areas smudge please stop uh, there is a loss of definition in these areas it's not as detailed but Shadows aren't supposed to be detailed. You shouldn't be able to see a lot in shadows anyway. They kind of obscure the viewing and overall I'm so much more satisfied with how she is. The ugly face for this one was so long and I really was not happy with her for the longest time, especially when I stepped away. I just was not into her. And adding that depth really helped. I don't know why I didn't realize in the first place that she was way too tonally similar. I was originally upset with how similar her skin tone was to her shirt. Um, however, I didn't really process that it was like no depth whatsoever. I'm so glad I have two cats here now. Hi, Will. <laughs> Thanks, Will. So generally, uh, I forgot to record the entire process because I was like, oh, I'll just add a little bit, it won't be too much because I was working on this. And so <laughs> she's now completely different. And I've already edited the clips for all of the previous parts, smudge please stop, for all the previous parts. So there is a like issue where I deleted them from my phone because they're on my computer now. So I imagine in the previous clip you had the lowest definition version of the old version. So hopefully in the actual video you guys can really see how much different she is. I took a white Posca to clean up the mess and it somehow turned beige, like creamy orangey beige. So that's cool. But yeah, I'm so much happier with how she is now that she has depth. Her headphones do get lost in her hair a little more than I would like. But I'm also not actually super accustomed to this style. Now I have two cats and a dog, so. If you're headphone users, I'm really sorry if you can hear them. So, yeah. Hi. Hi, old man. So, yeah. Generally. Generally. I'm much happier with this now. Future Rain back again. I forgot to do an outro. It is a different day. 
So for my outro, I'm going to show you this character from this illustration, and then I'm also going to show the um, what she originally looked like. So uh, I hope you like this video. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, anything like that, I would really appreciate it. If you do want to comment, I would love to know what you th like about the pieces, what you think about them, what you think I should change for the future, if you think that I should draw this character more, if you think that I should kind of scrap her a little bit, I totally get that too. And then I guess just overall, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I do really like this style that I've been playing with a bit recently. And yeah, so I guess this is it for this video. Bye.